I am making a Cyber Dragon deck profile. I re recently rebuilt this deck. It's really fun. And for me to at least, at least it's fun for me to play since I'm playing it my way, which is mo primarily a fusion based tactic. But overall, I still think it's a great deck. I just need to do a bit of tweaking because I forgot about some cards I need in the deck, like Galaxy Soldier, Cyber Alton, and uh, Jazoo here, the star, star Destroying Kaiju. But other than that, I really enjoy this deck. So starting off with the monsters, I play three copies of Cyber Dragon Hers. Cyber Dragon, all the Cyber Dragons in this deck, minus the original Cyber Dragon, all share the effects of their names are treated as Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the graveyard, or face up on the field or in the graveyard. And hers has an effect where I believe it has to be sent to the graveyard. Uh, okay, it has two effects, but you can only use one of you can only use one of the two effects per turn. So if you use one, you can't use the other. But its effect is if this card is special summoned, you can make it all five to the end of the turn. But you're locked in the machines for the rest of the turn. And its other effect is if it's sent to the graveyard, you can add one other cyber dragon monster from your deck or one cyber dragon from your deck or graveyard to your hand. I mainly like it because if you, if you need to, you can special summon off a of cyber dragon nova to make it level five so you can make a second nova. Or you can send to the grave to search for either the original cyber dragon from your deck or something like cyber dragon core so you can. Start, start your turn off for the next turn. Then I play two copies of Cyber Dragon Noxter. Noxter has the effect of you can discard a does it have to be a light machine or just a card? I never can never remember. You can discard one other monster, summon it, summon it, and then if it is normal or special summoned. You can then target one monster that has 2100 attack is it, and or cyber dragon defense. Yeah, you can target one monster that has 2100 attack or defense in your graveyard and special summon it. You can use each effect of Noxter once per turn. Then I play three copies of Cyber Dragon Core. Cyber Dragon Core has the effect if it's normal or special summon. You can add one cyber spell or trap in your deck to your hand. And then if it's in the graveyard where well, you control no monsters, you can activate its effect to then special summon a cyber dragon monster from your deck. You can only use each effect you can only use each effect of Cyber Dragon Core once per turn, only once that turn. So if you use the search effect, you can't use the grave effect, or if you use the grave effect, you can't use its search effect. But overall, Cyber Dragon Core is the starter. And then I play two copies of Cyber Dragon Veer. Veer has the effect of if you normal or a special summon a Cyber Dragon monster, you can summon it from your hand. And I believe it also has the effect of when summoned by that way, yeah, all your Cyber Dragon monsters gain 500 attack and defense. So it's mainly in here just for a bit of a power boost, but I overall still like it. Then I play three copies of the original Cyber Dragon. Just because you can special summon from your hand while you control all monsters, but your opponent does. Like I said, there are five monsters I forgot to add into this deck, which are three Cy or Galaxy Soldiers. Or two to three. I like three because I like seeing it, and I don't really like searching for it. I'd rather search for Cyber Dragon cards. Cyber Elton, just for a powerhouse card. And then one to two... Uh, Jizukiru, the Star Destroying Kaiju. Mainly because it's a light machine, so it's searchable off of one of the spells. Anyway, moving on to the spells, I play one copy of Harpy's Feather Duster, just to deal with back row. Also, Mystic Mind's a stupid card that should get banned. Gonna keep saying that until it gets banned. Then I play one copy of Overload Fusion. This lets you fusion summon a dark fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing its materials from the graveyard. Then I play one copy of Called by the Grave. Just to stop hand traps or opponent's monsters that have effects in the graveyards. Such as Pelements, cough cough.
put called by the grave to three. That helps deal with tier element. Then I also play one copy of Cyberload Fusion. Cyberload Fusion works great with Overload Fusion. Where Cyberload Fusion lets you fusion summon by returning Cyber Dragon. I believe it's Cyber Dragon. You fusion summon a monster less Cyber Dragon's material by shuffling the fusion materials from into your deck from your field or and or face up banished cards. But monsters you but monsters you control can't attack unless it's the summoned monster. Then I play two copies of Cyber Eternal. This is one of the cards I would take out for one of the five to six monsters. Cyber Eternal just has the effect of you can target one machine fusion or one machine cyber fusion monster in your graveyard. Return to your extra deck or summon it, ignoring summoning conditions. And if a machine cyber fusion monster you control be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can bash this card from your graveyard instead. I just like this in case I stupidly walk into something like Mirror Force that I've actually done before and felt dumb. So there's personal reasons for playing two Cyber Eternal, but it would be one. Then I play two copies of Cyber Rev System. Rev System just lets you summon a Cyber Dragon from your hand or graveyard, but it can't be destroyed by card effects. My favorite part of the thing with this card is the fact that it's not a once per turn, so if you see both of them in your opening or in a hand, you can use both of them the same turn. And then I play two copies of Cyber Repair Plant. Cyber Repair Plant can only be activated while Cyber Dragon is in your graveyard. With, but if you have three or more Cyber Dragons in grave, then you can actually use both of its effects in sequence. But if you only have two or less, you can only use one of the two effects. Which the, the effects you can use are you can add a light machine from your deck to your hand and then target a light machine in your graveyard to shuffle it into the deck. So this is how you're able to search for Jizukiru, or the one of Cyber Eltonin, or even add the Galaxy Soldier. Then I play three copies of Cyber Emergency. Cyber Emergency just lets you add a light machine monster that cannot be normal summoned or set, or a cyber yeah, or a cyber dragon monster, and add it from your deck to your hand. And then the best part of this card is if your opponent ashes this, it's not too bad. Just because if the activation of the card in its own possession was negated by an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can discard a card, at return Cyber Emergency to your hand, and you can only activate one Cyber Emergency per turn. But with its effect, if Ash if this gets ashed, it's negated, you can discard a card, turn it to your hand, you can use it again. Because it says you can only activate in all returns if the activation is negated. Then I play three copies of the Machine Duplication. This is, has eight targets in the deck, being the Cyber Dragon, Noxter, Hers, and Core. But this just lets you target one monster you control that has, I believe, has to be, yeah, 500 or less attack, and summon, I believe it's up to two? Yes, up to two monsters with the same name. But since they're on the field, their names are Cyber Dragon. This just summons two Cyber Dragons from your deck. Or up to two Cyber Dragons, I should say. And then I play three copies of Power Bond. This lets you fusion summon a machine fusion monster by using monsters from your hand or reveals material. But the summoned monster has its attack points doubled. But the downside of this is during the end phase, you take damage to the fusion summon monster's attack points. Which aren't too bad, because usually if this is acti being activated, someone is dying. That's usually how that works. <coughs> Meh. Also, I play three copies of Limiter Removal. This is just a further ha-ha card, as it just doubles the attack of all machines on the f on your field, but destroys them during the end phase, which if Cyber Eternal is in the grave, then you get to keep a double doubled attack Cyber Fusion Monster. Unless it's not off a of power bond, then you get to keep a quadruple at, uh, Cyber Dragon, which is hilarious. Then I play three copies of Regeki. These would come out for probably two soldiers and Cyber Elthanin. As two soldiers is probably the right number since it is searchable and it just searches for the other one. 
But this for now this is in here because it's a decent bait card when your opponent has one or two generic negates. Because this will just automatically eat up on your opponent's negates unless they're not even prepared for destroying their monsters. But I do like having the option of going first and still having to go second card because I've been losing the die roll a lot, so why not have go second cards in my deck? And then to finish off the deck, I play two copies of Cyber. Cybernetic Overflow. Cybernetic Overflow, I believe, banishes Cyber Dragons. Yeah, banishes Cyber Dragons with different levels from your hand, face up field, or graveyard. To destroy an equal number of cards your opponent controls. And then if this card on the field is destroyed by card effect, you can add a Cyber Spell Trap in your deck to your hand. And you can only use each effect of Cybernetic Overflow once per turn. But it's like as it's an out to Mystic Mind in this deck, which I still think is dumb and needs to get banned. Konami, do it. Anyway, my hatred for Mystic Mind aside, moving on to the extra deck. I play two copies of Cyber Dragon Seeger. Cyber Dragon Seeger has the effect of viewing target a thing has to be a Cyber Dragon monster. Oh. You can target one machine monster on your field to then increase the attack points by 2100, but your opponent takes, doesn't take any damage from that that monster. Also, Cyber Dragon Seer cannot attack the turn this effect is used. But that effect is a quick effect, so it's good. It's actually a decent ish defensive effect because you could, if it's the only monster you control, your opponent attacks into it with something like a Blue Eyes, then it can make itself be 42 instead of 21. <laughs> Or you can use it to boost some of your other monsters. So, er, I just realized I did its effect wrong. My apologies. Its effect is during the battle phase, quick effect. As long as Cyber Dragon Seer has not prepared an attack, you can target one machine monster you control with 2100 or more attack. For the rest of this turn, that monster gains 2100 attack and defense. Also, neither player takes battle damage from attacks involving this monster. So if it targets something like one of your three copies of Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon, Rampage Dragon can still deal damage, Seeger cannot. But Rampage Dragon is actually one of my favorite monsters in this deck. I say one of because my favorite one is going to be the last fusion monster I go over. But Rampage Dragon has the effect of a, if fusion some of this card can only be done with the above fusion materials, acquiring two plus Slayer Dragon monsters. But once fusion summoned, you can target spells or traps on the field up to the number of materials used for its fusion summon, destroy them. Then once per turn, you can send up to two light machine monsters from your deck to the graveyard, and for each one sent, it gets an additional attack. So it's going to attack three times, and it destroys back row when summoned. The best part, it can send uh, hers and core, so then you can use hers to return, add Cyber Dragon core to your hand in case you aren't able to kill your opponent for some reason. Then I play one copy of Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Fortress Dragon's probably going to be a 2 or 3 of after... I think it's the next Battles of Legends set that's going to have Clockwork Knight. But once that card gets released, it'll be a 3 of in this deck, and Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon will probably also be a 3 of since Clockwork Knight changes all monsters on the field of the machines. But... Fortress Dragon is a contact fusion that requires a Cyber Dragon monster and machine monsters on the field. So what I like to do in mirror matches is I'll, sum I'll set a... Or my opponent has like a bunch of neg monster negates. Or a bunch of negates in monsters such as Cyber Dragon Infinity. I will set a Cyber Dragon. Actually, I need to make sure this still works. Okay, well, on the field, so its name is still to be Cyber Dragon, even face down. But assuming that this actually works, I'll just set something like Cyber Dragon hers, and then contact fuse it and all of the machines on the field away to summon a Fortress Dragon. Actually, that's a dumb thing. I don't have to set it, you can just normal summon it. But anyway, that's my tactic in the mirror match. Then I play one copy of Cyber Twin Dragon, just gets two attacks during each battle phase. One copy of Chimera Tech Mega Fleet, just to deal with Link monsters, such as Appaloosa, that's usually in the extra monster zone. 
Then I play one copy of Cyber Eternity Dragon. Cyber Eternity Dragon has the effect of if you have a machine fusion monster in your graveyard, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. If this fusion summon card you control is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card, you can special summon a Cyber Dragon from your hand or graveyard. Then you can banish this card from your graveyard this turn. You, your opponent cannot target fusion monsters you control with card effects. Also, they, they cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Okay, so I just like it because usually I have it in here just in case I face one of my friends likes to play Dogmaticum, likes to... <coughs> Excuse me. But one of my friends really likes playing Dogmatica and spamming the, the Dogmatica monster that makes you send monsters from your extra deck to the graveyard. So I'll typically send this so that when I go for lethal, I will banish it first so that my machine fusion monsters cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. But it is still a pretty decent 4,000 defense body if you need to make it. And then my favorite fusion monster deck is Cyber End Dragon. Yes, I'm being biased with that. But Cyber End Dragon just has 4,000 attack. If it attacks a monster in defense, it does piercing. But I just like it because this is the card I used when I first start, tried playing Cyber Dragon. And all my friends at school hated it because every time it was summoned, someone was dying, no matter who. Anyway, I then play three copies of Cyber Dragon Nova. Cyber Dragon Nova has a really fun effect where you can detach material that's on a Cyber Dragon from your graveyard. Then you can banish a Cyber Dragon you control to then have it gain additional 2100 attack and defense until the end of the turn. What is it? Think it also gains defense? Nope, it just gains 2100 until the end of the turn. And if it is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can summon a light fusion monster from your extra deck, ignoring summoning conditions. If I had it, I'd probably also be pl I'd probably take out Cyber Eternity Dragon for a copy of Invoked Mechaba. Just because that card tends to be really good, especially with after your opponent's destroyed something, like Nova. Then to finish off the extra deck, I play two copies of Cyber Dragon Infinity. Infinity is a generic negate that you can summon just by using a, a Cyber Dragon Nova. Which one of my friends actually d did a thing where they're facing Dogmatica. They sent a Cyber Dragon Nova from their extra deck to the graveyard. Just summon Phantom of Chaos. Banish the Nova in the graveyard make its name Cyber Dragon Nova. And then use Infinity on top of it. Because Infinity just needs a monster named Cyber Dragon Nova. But Infinity, you can just detach a material opponent activates a card or effect to negate and destroy that effect. And then once per turn, you target one attack position monster on the field, attached to it as material. But that is it for my Cyber Dragon deck profile. If you have any ideas what I can do to improve the deck, any ideas decks like see be made or decks like see face each other, feel free to comment down below. Thanks for watching.